What's up guys, in this video I'm going to be doing something that I haven't done for a while which is show you my uh, new DVDs and Blu-ray pickups. Um, I know I used to do it every month back in the early days of my channel but as you know I mentioned in my last um, Blu-ray update video that I'm just going to do it every now and again once I've got a decent sized pile to show you. Um, but first, just to get out of the way, I've got a few um, DVDs and one Blu-ray here. Um, of films that I've I've owned for a long time, but I lent it to I lent these films to my brother, and he he had them for a long time, and I completely forgot about them, and he gave them back recently, and I've never shown you them on camera, or anything. It is one of my favourite uh, film series of all time, and that is the Terminator, Terminator Two, Terminator Three, and you can probably guess this last one, Terminator Salvation. And that's the only one I've got on Blu-ray out of the trilogy. Now I, I'm a huge fan of Terminator films. I've loved them ever since I watched them years and years ago. Um, Terminator 2, of course, like everyone else, is my favourite in the trilogy. It's this kind of classic, classic 90s action, and that's what you want. This is pr pure Arnie at his best, in my opinion. Arnie's best film, in my opinion. I know there's a lot of debate going around about Arnie's best film but in my opinion Terminator 2 is that one. I love Terminator 2. Um, I think the order of them will be Terminator 2, Terminator 1, Salvation then Terminator 3 but that's not to take anything away from Terminator 3. I know there's a lot of people that don't like it but and I know they did tone it down so they could make it a, a, a 12 rating which was a bit sad. I, I can understand people's dislike of it because it is a bit more family based a bit more of a family film um, but it's still got some great Arnie action in there and that's what I enjoy um, but yeah Terminator 2 is by far the best one you can't deny that um, so next one next up is a DVD that I only bought today well it's actually five films and that is the Fast and Furious complete collection with all of the Fast and Furious films in there now I've never seen the Fast and Furious film and um, I'm going to see Fast 6 when it comes out um, here in the UK and of course I'm going to need to kind of catch up so I picked this up just so I could watch all the films it's a decent box set if you open it up all of the films are in there um, so that's going to keep me busy until Friday Friday I think it comes out in the UK so yeah that's going to keep me busy I'm looking forward to watching them I know that they're very popular I think the only unpopular one is Tokyo Drift um, but yeah, we'll have to see what I think about that. I've never seen any of them, like I said, so I'm looking forward to sitting down and watching those before I see the new one. Uh, the next DVD is my last DVD I've got recently, and you'll know if you've seen my other kind of pickup um, videos that I'm a big fan of this guy, and that is Bear Grylls, Born Survivor, Series 6. And now I've got all of his DVDs now. Um, of course, this was his last series of Born Survivor. He doesn't do it anymore, um, so now I have all of his box sets. Um, I'm just a huge fan of it. I can't really explain why. I've never, before Bear Grylls, I've never really been into the sort of documentary nature style programs. But Bear Grylls is very watchable and he makes things entertaining, like the, the really dangerous side of it. He's eating all these animals, he's peeing into snake bodies and then drinking it and stuff like that. Bear Grylls is a pure beast and that's why I love watching his programs and collecting his DVDs. So yeah, I've got them all now and I can't wait, I haven't finished watching all the episodes on it yet so I can't wait to crack on watching the rest of those. That's the DVDs out of the way, the rest of them are Blu-rays. This next one's a bit of a cheesy family film which I picked up purely because um, it's got my favourite actor in and that's Jim Carrey and that film is Mr Popper's Penguins. Now I only picked this up as I said because I'm one of Jim Carrey's biggest fans. I love all of his films, I've got all of his films I grew up watching all of his classics, um, so when this was released I, kn I kind of wanted to see it because it was another Jim Carrey comedy film and I never did see it and I saw it um, reduced down to like £4 on Blu-ray brand new so I thought I'd pick it up just for the pure entertainment purposes um, of watching Jim Carrey. Um, and it was a nice film, it was a good family film, it's not one that I would probably rush back to watch anytime soon, it's very forget uh, forgettable. But it does what um, it does what I wanted it to do, which is provide me with some Jim Carrey entertainment, and it does that. So yeah, if you want, if you like Jim Carrey, give it a watch. Um, but it's not the best Jim Carrey film ever. Uh, next up is one that only my UK subscribers might know, and that is Celebrity Juice, the second um, 
Blu-ray release. Now, this is a very popular program in the UK. I don't know if any of the US subs or anyone in anyone out of the UK has has heard of Celebrity Juice or Keith Lemon. Um, but I'm a huge fan of the show. It's very funny. Um, it's kind of really like rude and everything like that and it just t- kind of takes the mick out of celebrities and everything like that it's really funny to watch so um if you're in the uk kind of back me up at how funny celebrity juice is um, next up is harry potter and the prisoner of azkaban now if you might remember ages ago in one of my uh, deep pickup videos like this i said i was collecting the harry potter blu-rays I've, I've got the majority of them now, I, well I've got all of them apart from Order of the Phoenix, that's the only one I don't have now. Um, and I saw these go, I saw this going cheap, I might as well show you the next one actually. Chamber of Secrets as well is the next one, I picked up these two because they were going really cheap and I needed them in my collection. So all I need now is Order of the Phoenix. I do love the Harry Potter films, I grew up with the films, I was kind of born in the right age to grow up with Harry Potter, it sounds really cheesy. but as the films grew and everything. I was growing up as well, so I was always watching them through my childhood. Um, so that's why I love them. And for the pure fact that Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban is in fact my favourite film out of all of them, all eight of them. And I think I think it's just the perfect one. That's my favourite Harry Potter film, and it always will be. So I'm happy to pick that up on Blu-ray now. Uh, next up is a very big release and I couldn't wait to get this. I got this on day one. I got it right back when it was released. I didn't do a video about it purely because I forgot. Um, so this one is The Hobbit. Now The Hobbit is a fantastic film. You might have seen my review on it when it was released in the cinemas. Um, but I loved The Hobbit. I can't wait for the next next one to come out, out, out in December I think it is. Um, and I thought it was fantastic. I can't wait to see more. I loved kind of getting back into that Lord of the Rings universe, Peter Jackson's Middle Earth, everything like that. It was great to be back in it, and I can't wait for the um, the next two films to be released um, about The Hobbit, so I can't wait. So yeah, that's The Hobbit. Two more. One of them is War Horse. Now, I heard a lot of good things about War Horse. Originally, I wanted to see, because I know it's a stage show on Broadway and in the um, London's West End. Now I want to see that show and it is coming to my local uh, theatre later in the year so I'm going to be going to see that on stage. I can't wait for that. Now War Horse is a brilliant film. It's a typical film that you'd watch on like a Sunday. It's a long war based uh, Steven Spielberg film. It's about three hours long. It's set in World War uh, Two, uh, no World War One sort of era and as you can guess it's about um, this guy who kind of meets this horse, raises it up as his own and then becomes a war horse um, out in the war and everything. It is a brilliant, brilliant film. It's typical Spielberg, kind of epic scale. It is fantastic and I can't recommend it enough. If you're signed up to Netflix, keep an eye out because this is being added to Netflix in the next few weeks. So definitely, definitely watch it if you are on Netflix. Um, I can't recommend it enough. It's a fantastic film and I can't wait to watch this again. I've already watched it once and I kind of want to go back and watch it again. It's that good. So there's that. And last but not least is the probably the babyish film, the most babyish film I've ever bought. But I wanted it because I said in a previous video I'm a Disney collector because I grew up in that sort of era with the Disney films. And you can't be a Disney collector if you don't have Dumbo. Yes, I am a 20 year old boy, man. <laughs> who has bought Dumbo on Blu-ray. Um, but it was very cheap, and like I said, I'm a collector and I want to collect all the Disney classics because they are very ex- expensive when they go back in the vault and everything like that, as everyone knows. So uh, I saw Dumbo for very cheap, literally only about 4 99 and that is cheap for a Disney Blu-ray. Um, so yeah, I, I've watched it. I can't say it was the best watch I've ever had because it is such an old film. It's a classic, you can't deny it's a classic, but I had never seen it before I watched it. It's not what, not one of my favourite Disneys at all, um, but it is a good Disney film and it's one definitely one to have in your collection if you are a collector like myself. And, and yeah, that was my kind of recent pickups. Um, I know there's nothing major in there. The Hobbit is probably a big one. There's a few films coming out soon that I can't wait to pick up. The main one though is next Monday in the UK Django Unchained comes out so I'm definitely going to be getting Django. I can't wait to watch that again. Um, But yeah that was my recent pickups guys. Thanks for watching. Uh, Leave your comments down below um, as usual about what you thought of my pickups and everything like that. Um, So yeah thanks for watching this and I'll see you in my next one.